Okay? Even though I don't regret coming back to Nigeria, but at some point in my life, I always feel like I should not have returned so early. This video. is really not like my regular kind of video so the pressure 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 social media will literally make you act insane so please do not believe everything you see on social media a lot of us just shape it the best way we feel you can accept it no one ever shows you their failure so literally life behind the gram life behind social media is not as rosy as it is it is really bitter like legit bitter <laughs> so basically this video is not a live update or anything but it's one to look like a live update but really not a live update so i'm gonna be doing a live update later in august that will make it two years that i returned to this country nigeria <laughs> this video is legit gonna be the last video you guys are gonna see of me talking for a while so apparently i think i made a video was it my last vlog where i made mention of me moving out of my father's house i literally just got back yesterday i really need to move out of this vicinity because this place is draining me so i moved out and uh long story short i moved out finally finally <laughs> That car is for sale. If you want to buy a car, please holler at me. That car is for sale. I did not get a car. Where do I want to see money to get a Mercedes Benz? Nah, bro. It's for sale. So I deal with selling of cars and a whole lot that I'm going to be mentioning later in this video. Adulthood is tough. Really, really tough. I don't know why people don't tend to talk about this, but it is very tough. There's been a lot going on with me. There's a lot that is still going to go on. But then, all I can say is I'm never going to cry on camera. But deep down, I try to inspire you guys to be happy. I try to make everyone happy. I try to, you know, be the vibe, you know. <laughs> but deep down, I am not happy. Happy, I am not even close to being happy. <sighs> It's just a lot going on. The pressure from people. People tend to tell me, yes, you came back from... Like, Nigerians will argue your brokenness with you. They will argue your brokenness with you. Like, what the hell? I am broke. I told you I am broke. And they'll be like, no, you that just got back from China, yari yari yari. Oh, shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. So, I finished my NYSC. Was it November? I got back to Ibadan in November. And if I tell you that I've applied for job hey hey <laughs> i have applied for jobs my email is literally full like my outbox i've applied for jobs <laughs> i've applied for jobs like i'm insane i even literally go into people's business just to just get something doing with my life but it is what it is <laughs> the last one that just threw me under the bus and i was like no i'm not applying anymore i'm not doing this anymore i am really not doing this anymore <laughs> i applied for this job um i'm not gonna say the title but when i got there for an interview this people legit told me to come and be a sugar baby sugar baby to travel to dubai if you guys want to see a story time for that just drop it in the comment section and Anyways, moving on, I started my business, a logistic business. I uh, import stuff from China, and so far, so good. I've been trying my best. So, if you want to import anything from China, I'm going to drop. See, I always drop my WhatsApp. Now, I don't even care. If you contact me and it has nothing to do with business, I'm going to block you. I will block, you, and that's it. So I've literally been trying to adjust as a Nigerian in Nigeria. In case you don't know, in case this is your first time here, I didn't even make any intro. You guys should just enjoy. I am someone that eats a lot, like I eat all the freaking time. But adulthood have made it so difficult for me. Like I barely even remember that I've not eaten anything the whole day. I work from Monday to Saturday. The only free time I have is today, which is Sunday. It is not easy. <sighs> It's been so, so difficult trying to adjust as a Nigerian in Nigeria. It's been so difficult. The few times, like, I spent majority of my, you know, growing up life in China. And it might sound really short, like, the years aren't even that long. But trust me, it's made a 
very huge impact in my life so coming back to this country and everything is just different don't try to compare your previous and your current lifestyle in nigeria because it's gonna lead to depression it's gonna lead to depression especially if you're living a very nice lifestyle abroad go back to this country and you're trying to compare the boat <laughs> you are knocking on depression's door <laughs> so all this still boils down to social media because nah it's just a lot i'm laughing oh but i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired like literally very tired right now i just want to focus more on the why of life and not on the how of life you get what i mean all progress take place outside your comfort zone um <laughs> i don't know how to feel about that but i think i believe all i just gotta say is if you're coming back to Nigeria as a foreign student, as anything at all, you're coming back to your country, please, please have plans. Plans. Because if your plan A does not work, jump to plan 2 or plan B. Plan C, D, E. Just have lots of plans because you'll be so messed up. Hey. <laughs> uh -huh. You'll be so messed up. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. I'll be relocating to another state pretty soon. Whenever I'm feeling really, really down and emotional, I tend to gasp. If that's the word. Whenever I'm talking, like I'm feeling it in my voice. When I get to the state and I'm settled, I'll show you guys. Probably that will be the next time you see my face on YouTube. Because honestly, I'll be staying off YouTube. I have to stay off YouTube, guys. I've been on YouTube since. Please, why is this thing bagodo angbada? Obago angbada. I've been on YouTube since 2016, and this is 2021. <laughs> And it's very, 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 very crazy that people still do not believe me that I have not made one penny out of YouTube. One dollar I have not made from YouTube, but I've invested a lot. YouTube creating content is a passion. But right now, when the passion says you're not even making anything meaningful from it, what's the point? Like I'm supposed to be working with brands, doing all this good stuff, but what's the point? I have close to 3k subscribers and it's just there. I need to go off YouTube, re-strategize and come back hopefully with great content because I'm also tired of making the same content all the time. The low engagement I get from YouTube is even another is even another depressed issue like this thing piss me the hell off I'll spend hours editing then only for me to put out this content and it's just there it's just there it's tiring it's really tiring everything is tiring I'm just trying to form this hard girl hard girl deep down I am not this is when I posted one time I think it was last week I posted something about depression on my whatsapp and trust me a lot of people were shocked why because I inspire people to be happy but deep down when I am not happy I just want people around me to be happy because all of us cannot be sad at the same freaking time it is